Hey YouTube, it's Ashana. I thought I'd come to you today and show you my twist out and talk to you about the products that I've been using. Well, that I thought I'd try this time with this twist out since I've been natural. I've been just wearing twist outs. I've tried Bantu knots. I've tried, that's about, oh, and Flexi Rise I've tried. And I'll also come and show you videos of how I've done that too, along with pictures and whatnot. But with this um, twist out, you can't really see too much of the definition anymore. Well, here's one. But um, after being in this Georgia humidity all day, it kind of poof, which is actually fine with me because I like my hair big. I like my hair to have a lot of volume. And as you can see, it's gotten really big or whatnot. So I'm really happy about it. And I thought I'd put this flower in today and, you know, jazz it up. Nothing too extravagant. And then I put this little piece here. And that's about it. And, you know, just fluffed it up today. And I left. Um, the products that I used to do this twist out was my Shea Moisture Curly Curl Enhancing Smoothie, which is my absolute favorite. Got it from Target. Ten dollars, which is actually almost gone. Gotta go re up. So I'll be going to go do that pretty soon. Um, I used to always, always use shea butter leave-in conditioning, and um, I used to always use it when I was transitioning, and then I stopped using it. Why I don't know, but I just did. I think it was because I started playing around with other products. But I definitely use this too on this twist out this time again. And I also used to always use when I was transitioning my African Shea Butter, the raw 100% natural. And I would mix it in with a couple of oils, whatever I had on hand. And I would use that and that would definitely keep my hair moisturized when I was transitioning. Stop using that, but I definitely started using it again since I've been natural. And I must say, this twist out was so moisturized. Like, I can't even explain to you how moisturized my hair was. Like, it was just awesome. Like, <laughs> it was great. And um, I think these will actually be my products for a good while, while I'm doing twist outs or anything of that nature. Because um, it really did some fantastic things to my hair. I haven't... Um, been taking care of it like I should. It's been getting really dry. So I said, you know, let's do a twist out. Let's, you know, get it together. So that's what I did. And um, I must say, I'm very impressed with it. Um, my hair has actually lasted. This is actually day two of a twist out. And um, I actually just kind of retwisted these few right here. And then I did like one big one right here just last night. But I did sleep with the back out. I'm going to let you see that. And, um, you know, it's fine. I just sleep with my satin pillowcase because I've learned that when I sleep with my bonnet and I take it off, the twist out is done. Like, there is no twist out. It's all matted in and you can't even fluff it up to make it look cute anymore. At least from my experience, I can't. But I know if I sleep on my satin pillowcase and my head can lay as flat as it want to, and then I wake up, I can fluff it, and it'll be fine. So instead of it being matted in something, being secure in a little size, you know, you know, little bonnet, then it's just nothing. But if I lay down and I just, you know, whatever, it's fine. It, it's just, it does great. So that's what I tend to do. And uh, I just thought I'd come and show you my twist out and, you know, if you have any questions or um, if you want to know something about my products or how long I've been natural or anything like that, go ahead and leave a question or any comments at the, um, the little box below. I definitely appreciate it. And also, don't forget to subscribe. So, thank you again for watching. Bye.